Hello BookTube, I'm here to do a uh, book tag. It's uh, an original tag by Sean the Book Maniac. F is for fictionalize. I watched his um, third uh, on the list. I saw first uh, Steve Donahue do it and David Murphy. And after watching David Murphy, I thought, well, let's look at the questions and see if I can uh, uh, do this. I've struggled with this one a bit. Um, well, well, we'll just we'll go on. And uh, number one, F is for fictionalize. Any or all of these: A, uh, your take on auto fiction; B, the writer you'd like to write a, uh, like to write a novel based on your life; um, and or C, a work of autobiographical fiction you'd recommend it. Uh, I had to look up to see what auto fiction is, and auto, they don't exist. I have no idea what that is. They don't exist in my world. So I'm left with uh, B, the writer you'd like to write a novel based on your life. Francois Rabelais. He's dead, but that's who I'd like to do it. Or maybe we can just chop up uh, Gargantua and Pantagruel and Gargantua and Pantagruel. Um, number two, F is for farm, a great book that set on a farm or about farming and or uh, one you want to read. Now, there's um, a couple, a couple that are, uh, one that I have read uh, is uh, Erskine Caldwell's Georgia Boy. It's an interconnected uh, short stories of a young teen, 12, 12 13 years old. Uh, published in 19... early 40, 43, 44. Uh, it's a very short book, uh, set in Georgia, and it's just it's a humorous, humorous stories of that he and his family uh, they're in deep poverty and odd things that happen, but they're basically sharecroppers. Uh, and I've enjoyed that book in the past. I haven't read it for about 30 years now, 25, well, probably more like 25 years. But, uh, uh, the other one I'd like to read is uh, it's it's the Earth uh, by Emile Zola, La Terre I think is the uh, French title for it, and it was published. I have to look here. I had to look it up to see when it was published, eighteen eighty seven, and it's part of his Rouge uh, Marquette uh, series, and the subtitle of the series is Natural History of the Family Under the Second Empire from eighteen fifty two to uh, 1870. It's a series of 20 novels. And it's... I'm not sure where it, it, it is in the series. Uh, but it's, it's basically uh, the trials and tribulations of an agri agricultural workers. Uh, I remember seeing this as a silent film, a very good silent film. Uh, and I've always wanted to read the book. And I've read several of Zola. Everything that I've read, I've enjoyed. And I've read quite a few, uh, well, when I say quite a few, I've read about three or four uh, from this series, but never in the order. Uh, so I'd like to at some point go through and read the whole order and include, obviously, the Earth. Um, F is for Frank, Franz, Fanny, or dot dot dot. Uh, a writer you recommend or want to read whose first and or last name starts with F. Bonus points for both first and last name. Um things that came to mind because I've been thinking of science fiction uh, and they're not sort of to read, uh, well I'd recommend so I would say I'd recommend these uh, Frank Herbert uh, Philip Jose Farmer uh, both um, especially Phil Philip Jose Farmer's Riverworld series I really enjoyed, I'd like to reread that again, and everything I read by Farmer is just weird and wacky um, he definitely had an interesting um imagination, let's put it that way. Uh, I'm not sure what he was taking, but uh, he had some doozies. Uh, number four. Uh, F is for the love of God. An experience of extreme exasperation while reading about a book uh, in its entirety or small section thereof. I struggle. I, I can't think of anything that, that made me think uh, like that uh, strong of it. Um... I have to pass on that one. I just cannot think 
of anything that sort of really, really did that uh, to me. There's ones that go, oh, yeah, it's all very good, but I, it's not something or nothing that sort of that I could think of that just I went crazy on, at least not recently, anyway. Um, number five is for Find, a book with lots of Fs in the title, bonus points for more than two. Uh, actually, uh, I, I, I was thinking of Maul Flanders, so I wanted to find out uh, the date it was published, then I realized the or, a full name of it, and it's a doozy. The Fortunes and Misfortunes of the Famous Maul Flanders. So many is that? One, two, three, four. Four Fs in the title. Uh, it was published in 1722 by uh, Daniel Defoe. And I've been thinking of Daniel Defoe because I've been reading some sort of books about books. And i would read some stuff uh, about Daniel Defoe's uh, books. And... Uh, there's a lot that I haven't read, and I, I'm interested, and I'd like to reread uh, Maul Flanders at some point. So that was on my mind. Uh, number six, F is for Father, a work of fiction in which fatherhood is a central concern. Ah, I forgot to actually think of this one. Um, the one that quickly comes to mind is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. I can't remember when it was written, though. Uh, the father is a central figure in there. Um, so I'll stick stick with that. Or, I guess, To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, which was 1963, I think, by Harper Lee. One or the other. Or both. Uh, F is for Finland. A book set in Finland or Finnish author you'd recommend or would like to try. Now, I don't know. It, it, there were several that I looked up and I realized, well, they're, no, they're not Finnish. They're Swedish. Uh, but there is a Edith Sauter, Sautergran, uh, who is actually Swedish speaking, but she's Finnish. Uh, she was a poet. And I've come across little bits and pieces of her poetry in the past. And I thought, that's, like, I had to sort of search to find her name. Uh, but uh, she lived late, uh, I think, 19th century, died in the early 20s, I believe it was. So, yeah, she. I'd like to read uh, more of her poetry. Uh, F is for fangirl, a new or a uh, new to you writer you're really excited about. Now, it's not new to me, uh, but Gust Gustave Flaubert. I've come back to reading him, and I've read the uh, uh, Bouviad and Pouchet, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So I want to definitely continue on with more Gustave Flaubert. And that's uh, basically prompted me to write it where um, a book, a booktube, um, Amy at the Dusty Bookshelf, uh, reading Bouvier and Poujard, and Matt at the, um, was it, Mary Boy, Mary, Mayberry Book Club. Um, and he, yeah, they, it just prompted me to get Bouviard, Bouviard and Poucher, and I thoroughly enjoyed that, so I want to continue on with his writing. Uh, number nine, F is for Fling. You loved one book by this writer, but nothing else. Again, I, I just, I, I, I've struggled with that. I, I've tried to find something, but like, there's nothing that's, that comes up. Um, I just, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. And I, and I looked at a lot of writers, I go, no, no, I've read a couple things that I like by them, or uh, I've only read one novel by them, so I don't know if I, if I don't like anything else. Because generally, if I find an author that I like, I have read more than one. If I found an author I didn't like, I probably have not immediately gone and read another book. So, so yeah, so I'm a little uh, stumped with that one. Um, number 10 is for Friends. A novel that satisfyingly uh, explores friendship. I think uh, one that I do want to read, I'm looking at it on the shelf there, is The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. Uh, and that definitely uh, covers that for, for friendship. Uh, I think I did them all. And then it says 11, uh, uh, for, uh, F is for far and wide, tag feverishly. Uh, a lot I've seen that have done it. Um, 
if you would like to do it, then uh, feel free to. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so there's my F is for fictionalize. And I should be back later, book two, with a essay. Thank you. Bye.